be required to provide capacity for 20% new multifamily housing in the city. And the percentage is based on the 2020 census figures. In Waltham, we have 26,545 dwelling units per the 2020 census. So originally it was 20%. That's been modified now. We're classified as a commuter rail community and we have to provide the capacity for an additional 15% multifamily units in the city. And I wanna emphasize that it's providing capacity. There's no requirement that we actually construct the housing that's to be identified under the statute. But realistically, if you provide ordinances that allow this type of multifamily housing, you are going to have developers coming in and constructing it. Under the statute, you have to have a district of what they call a reasonable size, and that district has to allow at a minimum, by right, 15 dwelling units per acre. DHCD has expanded on the language of the statute to identify what it will consider to be a reasonable size district. The district for Waltham minimum of 50 acres. And that means that we do have to have zoning that will allow by right multifamily units 15 per acre minimum within that 50 acre parcel. It does not all have to be within one specific area. It can be in a couple of areas, but I'll also explain how that applies. One of the requirements of the statute is that you provide multifamily housing within half a mile radius of your MBA stations. And one of the provisions is that you're supposed to be trying to promote use of the MBTA buses and trains. So you're, you're trying to develop locations where people will be able to do their shopping, their groceries, their laundry, their banking within walking distance of the multifamily units that are created. So as the city council is examining what it wants to do with the Waltham zoning ordinances, that's something you're going to have to take into consideration. Mayor, unfortunately, neither one of them was adopted in such a way that became a formal plan for the city. But in spite of that, both of those plans can also be used as a base for starting to think about what the, what the city wants to do with respect to this mandate. At this point, we need to start developing zoning. And one of our serious issues right now is that the city planner just retired. So we do need to get a new city planner who would be involved in this process. But also, it's my understanding the master plan committee is hiring a zoning consultant who is also going to be able to assist in providing analysis and data on what steps the city may be able to take to address the requirements of providing the capacity for 3,982 more units. One of the things we're, we're up against is that currently, Mass Housing Partnership in November of 2022 did an analysis based on existing zoning of the entire half mile radius of Carter Street and Brandeis. And that analysis indicated that the Carter Street area works out to 11.2 units per acre average. And that's without taking into consideration the lot requirements that we also have to comply with under the DHCD regulations. And Brandeis Roberts area has a 2.2 unit per acre average. So we, we are quite a ways off right now on what we would need to do. Um, as I said, some of the models were up to 15 or 1600 within the half mile, but that's, that's the best we've been able to do yet unless we talk about eight or nine story buildings and really large numbers 
of units. Uh, one of